and we've got a new product, what I've got in this box might be one of the most exciting new additions to the AR space. This right here is the Rokid AR Spatial System. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Desmond and we are talking about one of the newest contenders in the AR space. This is the Rokid AR Spatial System. It's made up of these glasses, the Rokid Max 2s, and this portable AR computer. This is the Rokid Station 2. And together, they are going to give you a incredibly portable, self-sustained augmented reality experience. Now, before we jump into the product itself, let's just talk about why you would even need something like this. So for me personally, I do a ton of traveling, both for work and for fun. I am always carrying multiple devices with me, a cell phone, a laptop, an iPad. And as much as I love my Apple Vision Pros, these are not particularly travel friendly. Uh, it's a fantastic system, but it is quite large. And that is where something like this comes into play, the Rokid Max 2s, as well as the Rokid Station. You can see here just the massive size difference between these two devices. This thing has everything built into one, and this right here is made up of two components, the glasses and the computer. But all of that fits beautifully and neatly in this one carrying case. And the carrying case itself is smaller than my entire Apple Vision Pro. So that's why something like this is actually quite beneficial for someone like me. And on top of that, because I travel so often, most of the time I'm using augmented reality or something like the Apple Vision Pro or something like this on the airplane, in a cafe, in transit, uh, anywhere that I'm out and about. And this is a lot more inconspicuous and subtle than a full-blown Apple Vision Pro setup. So with that said, when I am on the go, all I really need to do is bring my laptop, my phone, my iPad, and I can plug that directly into these glasses here. And I've got a bigger monitor, a, a second screen, multiple displays, and just something for me to get more work done more productively, as well as a better entertainment experience, like watching movies on a plane, on a bus, or again, in a hotel room where the TV isn't particularly great. So let's jump into the product itself. Like I mentioned, the Rokid AR Spatial is made up of two components. Let's start with the first, and that is the Rokid Max glasses. These are ultra lightweight. They're pretty comfortable AR glasses, and this is what's going to overlay that experience onto your current reality, right? I personally like the design of this. We'll walk through all the different components so you have a good idea of what this is. And on the inside, what gives you that AR experience are these two screens. These are actually Sony micro OLED screens, one for each eye, and that's what's going to project that huge up to 300 inch screen in front of your face. Additionally, we've got a few other features. We've got these nice rubberized nose guards here. We've also got audio built into the arms here of the glasses. So audio is piped directly into your ears. There's pretty minimal sound leakage, which is fantastic. So if you're watching a movie on the plane, you don't really have to worry about disturbing people next to you. Of course, you can just connect Bluetooth earphones to whatever device you're using and you are completely soundproof at that point. One thing that I will say that I like about this is the kind of mirror chrome finish of the glasses themselves. They give it a pretty futuristic vibe. Um, this comes with an included light shield. So if you want full immersion when you are watching a movie, you can just go ahead and clip these directly onto the glasses themselves. And now it is full blackout. You don't see anything in front of you. And it's more of a VR experience at that point. A couple of tiny design details that you'll notice here. I like these little gunmetal gray tips at the end of the glasses. And at the end of this one, you can see this is where we connect our USB-C cable. And since we're just talking about the glasses right now, the best thing about this is these glasses do work without the Rokid Station 2, which I'll talk about in a bit, because you can plug these into anything with a USB-C 
output. So for me, I am often using this uh, with my iPad, for example, if I want a second screen, if I'm at a cafe, if I'm in the kitchen, just kind of working on my iPad and I want a better screen, I could plug this into my iPad. It recognizes this as a second screen and I'm able to work from both the device and this AR display. It does of course work with your Android phone or your iPhone. So if you wanna plug this directly into that and maybe doom scroll from the comfort of your couch, you are going to have a much larger screen to you know, check out TikTok, Instagram, or even YouTube with. A couple of other things you can do with them is you can plug this into something like a Steam Deck. So if you do like your mobile gaming, you're on a plane and you wanna play, uh, one of your your games on your Steam Deck on a much larger display, you can actually plug that directly in via USB-C. And this, of course, also plugs into my MacBook. So if I want to edit videos, if I wanna do anything from a productivity perspective, and again, I want a second screen, I've got them right here. And that is probably one of the biggest things about this is how easy it is to carry something this small around with you that then gives you the benefits of having a full, large second display. Switching gears, let's talk about the Rokid Station 2. This is really the brains of the operation because this is a standalone AR compute unit. You plug this directly into the Rokid Max 2s and now you have an enclosed AR system. I actually really, really like this particular design. I'll give you a closer look here. You can see we've kind of got a matte finish on the front, rounded edges. We've got these really beautiful buttons on the sides and on the top is the power button right here and a battery indicator. This is very reminiscent of my original iPod or maybe even the first iPhone that I had. The nice thing about this is this is actually not a display. This is a matte textured finish, which allows you to control the AR system with your thumb as a clicking pad. You can hold it horizontally, but this becomes an interface for you to engage with the AR operating system, which is powered by Yoda OS Master. And in all honesty, having tested that OS, I actually think it works pretty good. It could definitely use a little bit of design tweaks, but if it's an operating system, you're going to get updates pretty regularly. They will refine it and improve it over time. Things that make the Rokid Station 2 special versus just plugging your glasses into say an iPhone or an Android phone is the operating system. So you've got the Yoda OS Master here. It gives you an augmented reality OS. So very similar to how you would interact with your Apple Vision Pro, you are now able to do that with your glasses. The textured screen on top is actually not for display, it's for engaging and interacting with that spatial operating system, which is really nice. Acts as a touchpad for your thumb so you can scroll around, you can click, uh, do whatever you want. You can play games, spatial games in here too. You can scroll. So there are a lot of nice features that are built into this experience right off the get-go. There are also a few extra modes with the Rokid Station 2. We've got our giant screen mode, which gives you a view of up to 300 inches. And then you've got things like portrait mode, which is really a narrow mode, which lets you better view things like TikTok or Instagram, any vertical format content. And then what they call sport mode, which is really also seen here as movement mode, which just lets the screen follow the movement of your head. Uh, it's great for planes, cars when you're traveling. And then of course you can see here a reading mode, which just adjusts the distance of the screen. You can see all of this here in the example. The other thing that might be worth adding is just Rokid in general as a company. They've been around for about 10 years now working on mixed reality and artificial intelligence. So they've got a bit of a track record versus some of the other options out there. The good news is they have been developing this technology for a little while now, so it feels pretty refined overall. For any of you using an iPhone or maybe a modern phone that can shoot spatial videos, just know that the Rokid can support that. So you can actually look at full-scale panoramas, spatial videos, photos. Uh, it's pretty cool. Here's some examples that were already in the library on the Station 2, but we've got some really interesting spatial and 3D effects here. So you can film your own and they can then be viewed on the Rokid Station 2. 
A few things that the Rokid Station 2 unlocks. First of all, it's spatial ultra screen, which is really a, again, Apple Vision Pro-esque experience where you can have multiple windows up in your display and you can engage with them all separately. You can connect up to three 21 by nine inch screens in this virtual world. And when I mentioned self-contained, uh, it's because this has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery built in. It's got Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2. We've got that spatial operating system, but we also have an app store that is Android based. And you've also got a lot of pre-installed apps as a part of the OS. And as I showed you earlier, all of that fits in the included carrying case. This is actually really nice. It's leather and metal. The entire Rokid AR spatial fits in here. So that's inclusive of the Max 2 and the Station 2, as well as the connecting cable that you would use to connect either the glasses to any device or the glasses directly to the Station 2. Now, having used this and other AR glasses as a part of my everyday life, I find some of the use cases that I tend to use the most are travel. So whenever I am hopping on a plane, when I'm in transit, I just want a bigger screen to do more with or just to have a better viewing experience. The other is work. So like I mentioned, if I'm sitting at a cafe or at my kitchen table, I want a bigger place and a bigger space to work. I can just throw these on and I can handle emails. I can edit photos, edit videos, do whatever I want on the device itself. And then finally, sometimes I'm at home, I'm sitting on the couch or I'm in bed, the kids are using the TV and I still wanna be able to watch a movie or do things on a large screen. That's when I pull out the glasses as well. I can connect these to an iPhone, an iPad, or like I mentioned, the Rokid Station 2, which lets me do a few different things at the same time, like watch a movie, check on emails, play some games, browse the internet, all on their kind of multi-screen setup. And then my final thoughts as someone who has owned and used multiple AR glasses, as well as the Apple Vision Pros here, the Rokid AR Spatial fits in a very perfect spot for a lot of different use cases due to its size, its weight, and the Rokid Station 2, which gives it its own compute power. I personally think that this is a great step in the right direction, especially for the future of AR experiences. So far, this has definitely been the most comfortable pair of AR glasses I have tested. I think the design aesthetic looks great. This works really, really well on the plane. It works well just at home. I also love the build quality. If you look here of the glasses, everything is enclosed. So those micro OLEDs from Sony aren't just available for scratching. And personally, I think that was very smart. I've used AR glasses where the micro OLEDs are exposed. And I actually think this is a much better design. I've also played with other AR kind of compute modules before. The Rokid Station 2 is pretty good. I actually think it's a better idea not to use this as a screen. Other devices, it's kind of like another iPhone or another phone that you have to deal with. I like the form factor, it's smaller. The buttons are really, really well designed here. You can control, of course, the brightness of the glasses, the volume of the glasses, all from here or the glasses themselves. And because this is a much smaller unit, you have the entire system here in this travel case. And for me, I can just toss this into any backpack, anywhere I go, and here, size comparison again, against the Apple Vision Pros. You can see they're already a little bit hard just to, to manage, but this is about the same size as the head unit. It's pretty crazy that an entire AR experience is in this travel case, uh, and it's smaller than just the lenses of my Apple Vision Pro. But overall, I think this is really cool. Rokid is offering an exclusive $20 discount to anyone that watches this video and uses the link in the bio below. I think, generally speaking, this is a pretty solid option to check out. All right, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos just like this. I will catch y'all in the next one.